Okay. So I'm back with my third thing I'm getting ready to fix. So, all right. So this next dish I'm going to fix, I'm going to do it with the eggplant. Remember how I told you how to pick your eggplant. It has to be small like this. Okay, not B, because it has a lot of seeds in it. All right, and um, you don't want an eggplant with a lot of seeds. This dish right here that I'm getting ready to fix is going to be called eggplant dirty rice. All right, so long as you know, it's going to be eggplant dirty rice. So we have our eggplant. We have Jimmy Dean. I have maple. You can have any type of uh, pan, sausage, any type of sausage that you want to have in it. If you want to have ground turkey, get you some ground turkey. If you want to have ground chicken, get you some ground chicken. Okay, if you don't want to eat this here pork, then get something else to eat. Put in it to make it right. Okay, we have black pepper. All right, and we have my go-to go Creole mix with all these vegetables in them. We have rice. I'm using long grain rice. You can use whatever kind of rice you want to to make this here dish. I'm serious. And we have salt. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients to make this here because I used to make this here long time ago. All right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take, I'm going to peel this. I'm going to peel the skin off of this. Okay? Then I'm going to show you how I dice it up in order to go into the rice dish. Okay, so I'll be back when I get ready to do that. Okay, so I wanna show you. I start peeling it off, so I just think you should see this here. So when you peel in this here skin, you peel the skin off, off of the eggplant, just like this. You do not take and put this in that dish because, you know, this eggplant uh, skin is kind of a little tough. You know what I mean? It is, it is simply tough. I don't care what nobody say. It is tough. Uh, and you got to really make sure that it's really cooked good. So, I don't like cooking with this here skin on top of this when you're making eggplant dirty rice. I really don't like doing it that way. I like doing it a little different and things. So when you do it like this here, you take it. Where my knife at? Okay, let me get my water on for this here. Oh, yeah, yeah, pain. I'm gonna go ahead and put my water on on so I can my water go ahead and start boiling for this here rice. Because uh, you're not going to put, you're not going to put that in till, you're not going to put this eggplant in until uh, your rice has cooked down just a little bit. Okay? When your rice cooked down a little bit, then you do it. Okay, so we're going to get it. We're going to cut it just like this. This is the size you're going to cut it. I think this should look like a fourth. All right? I think it looks like a fourth to me. I don't know. It looks like a fourth to you. I sure hope so. Okay, because we're going to cut it like this. So you're going to cut it. Cut it on up. And then you, look. It don't even have that many seeds in it. I hope y'all can see this here. It really don't have a lot of seeds in it at all. Just a little seeds. So it's not going to be too smooshy, smushy, you know, because when they have a lot of seeds, it's smushy. So this is going to be in cubes. So I'm cutting this here, but this is in cubes. So 
All the still gonna get cut up just like this. Push that on over there. Okay. All right. So then we're gonna go back. Let me go ahead and cut this head up some, show you what I'm talking about. It's gonna go in nothing but cubes. See, cause what I'm looking for, I'm looking for cubes. You're gonna cut all of it up into cubes, okay? So all of it's gonna get up into cubes. That's all we're doing is just cubes because this is what's gonna go in the rice. I don't know, uh, all of this is not going into that rice but I'm gonna show you how much of it I'm going to put in there. Everybody, you take a look, you see how much I have here. Okay, I have a sufficient amount here. So, I'm gonna do it like this here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me finish cutting up this. When this here cooks down, it cooks it cooks down to like really nothing. You really can't hardly see it that good or anything. Uh, you really can't hardly really tell it. But you can taste it a little bit. That's what I like. That's what I like. I like tasting it and things. And I'm gonna cook my meat up so I can have my meat together so it can be ready so I can put it in there when everything is about halfway ready so I can have everything to put in there. Okay? Oh, and it's, it, I'm going to put, this has parsley in it. But I'm going to take and put me some old parsley and some old cilantro, and I'm going to chop that up, and I'm going to have that in there. So everyone knows what I'm what I'm doing. I'm going to chop me up some parsley and some cilantro, and I'm going to put that in there, okay? So everyone knows what I'm doing. All right? Okay, then. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is my eggplant dirty rice. So I'm going to take the amount that I have in here, and this is probably about three-fourths of a cup. All that's going in there. My meat, I already cooked my meat. It's already finished, okay? So it's going in there, okay? And what I've done... I took some uh, oregano, basil, and tomato, okay? I sprinkled me some of that in there, all right? So now I'm going to put me some black pepper in there, and this is about, about two tablespoons of black pepper, and this is about a tablespoon of salt. All right, and then we have the eggplant. This is the eggplant. I finished cutting them up. I decided to go ahead and use the whole eggplant. All right, so this is the whole eggplant. I'm going to use that. And uh, let me get this here and stir this up here. Okay. So watch how you stir it up because you don't want your, your rice mushy, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this here go ahead on and finish cooking. Don't forget, don't stir it up that much because you don't want your, your rice mushy. But mix it up enough, just turn it over, okay? Remember how I always told y'all just to turn it over 
So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to add me just one more cup of water. Because when you put these ingredients in there, it just sucks up. The eggplant just sucks up everything in here and stuff. So I have this here mixed like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be back. I'm going to put me one more cup of water in there. And that's about it. And then uh, I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, everyone. I have finished the egg plant dirty rice. So, take a look at this. Look at this. I finished it. And I taste it. Oh my God, it's good. You can see how it's full. You can see the uh, eggplant in it. And it is excellent. Oh my God. It is so, so, so good. And it tastes excellent. Okay, so this is one that I have finished. And I have one more thing. So I think we're doing like one, two three. I think it's three that I'm doing today. And um, what else? We did the candy yams. We did this. Oh yeah. And then I got some greens from uh, yesterday that I'm going to have with this meal too. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do some cornbread or what. I don't know yet. Um, just have to wait and see. So, I want everyone, give someone a big hug. Tell them you love them. Show them you how you love them. You can tell a person, but at the same time, you can show them. If it's your mother, hey, every now and then, if she like plants like mine do, and I took my mother some plants this morning. Uh, took her two. Uh, so, just give her some flowers. Do something. Do something good, something nice, something sweet to let them know you love them. Uh, instead of a pity pat hug, you know how some people hug. Oh, they be one and all this it. You know that ain't working good. So, what I want to say to you, have a beautiful one. Until next time, I'll be back with my last one. Then I got something I want to say. Okay? Follow fatigue, baby.